on this unit. It's been holding it pretty steady for a good while. Let's do a stress test on this King's portable power pack. Today guys we're going to be pushing this King's power pack to its limits. So stick around. Okay guys, today this is a viewer suggested video. So today we're going to see how much we can push out of the cigarette lighter ports. Um, how many amps we can get out of it. Um, we're going to use my little watt meter here. Going to hook it up to this little power uh, board here and see if we can boil two kettles at once hopefully we can get up to around the 15 amp mark which he is hoping that we can get out of this power pack for a, a little bit of um, use for a sup pump so we're gonna put this to the test today see how much we can get out of this port all right guys all hooked up this is fully charged as you can see 13.4 8 volts on my trusty watt meter got 13.4 on the 12 volt accessory panel here so pretty good let's um, get boiling all right guys it's actually the next day I had to uh, make up this cable here and recharge this because um, the cable that I did was previously using I don't think was quite big enough yeah so I made this other cable up um, last night I got this charged back up again um, 3.47 volts as you can see so we're ready to run this test again um, we'll get this one here started hi starting see fluctuating a little bit for some reason this one yeah plays up a little bit fluctuates so I don't know what's going on there but regardless we'll get this other one going too now as you can see it's holding the voltage a lot better than the previous test with the smaller cable I think it pulled pulled it down to like 11 volts so it's holding the voltage a lot better now which is good you can see we we're, we're pulling momentarily we're pulling past 50 amps here guys 15 amps sorry it's 15 there 15 there 185 183 watts starting to starting to settle now so there you go we're pulling over 15 amps 180 watts and it's pulled down to 11.7 volts now so it is pulling 15 amps guys 15 amps coming out of one port here um, if you can see here it says 12 volt 15 amps out so we're pulling right on the limit of that 180 watts so definitely this cable's yeah doing a lot better so here, there you have it mate if you wanted to run your pump SUP pump at 15 amps then this will run it by the looks you will get a, a good voltage drop on it though but if you're only running 15 amps momentarily then this may work for you keep in mind that pumps do have a a pretty high startup current when you first run them so yeah once they start up then the amps and the wattage will drop down i plugged in this other port here to a watt meter as you can see the voltage is higher on this port here so obviously this port here is um, running 180 watts, 15 amps, it's drawing down the voltage a bit. So you're obviously losing a little bit of voltage probably coming through the cable still. Um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. That the battery itself is still on this port, still 12.4 volts as you can see there. 
yeah, I thought that was interesting. I might hook something up to this side here and see if we can get any extra juice out of this. All right, I've got this other port running my little inverter here. It's charging this Ryobi battery. It's pulling 40 watts and 173 watts is still coming from the opposite port. So in total, it's looking around 215 watts that I'm pulling out of this power pack. Yeah, which is pretty good, I think, pretty impressive. Still holding around 12 volts on this side here. And we're looking at 11.65 on that side here. This has been running for a good 10 minutes or so now, mate, running the, the 15 amps. Still doing good. Cables aren't really heating up too much, which is good. If you guys are finding value out of these videos, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it, guys. It helps get these videos out there. These are champions. Thank you. All right, I think we'll wrap this video up now. So we can definitely pull 15 amps on this unit. It's been holding it pretty steady for a good while. Um, yeah, total over 210 watts. So I think that's pretty good for this little pack. I um, hope you found this interesting. Hope you found value out of it and I'll see you on the next one.